Welcome to the Crochet Sanctuary Christmas Cal. Uh, I'm Lisa from the We House of Crochet and the Crochet Sanctuary. Um, so we are going to be running through a tutorial uh, for the Christmas Cal. Um, there are two colourways um, and you could, you'll be able to buy the yarn packs. We'll put the links um, here on YouTube. Um, there is an Aran weight version and also a DK weight. Uh, this is the DK weight that I'm using which is Salcraft Special DK, and we'll be using Lincoln, which is a nice muted green. We'll also be using lipstick, a nice Christmassy red, and also cream as well. So I think they're kind of traditional, but classy Christmas colors. The Aran Waite version, um, absolutely beautiful colors, but please have a read through of your the introduction part of the pattern so that you can find out the colours for that. Um, if you are following um, this from purely from YouTube, it's not going to work for you, unfortunately. Um, we will, This is not a full tutorial. We will just be working through a repeat of each row. You will need to have the pattern. Um, the pattern is available on Facebook, uh, the Facebook group, All Things Crochet Sanctuary. We will pop a link on here for you. Um, but yeah, you will need the pattern. So if you join the group and look under files, the full pattern will be there. And if you get stuck, then you can revert, you know, to these. Just a couple of pattern notes for you. Um, odd number rows um, are worked on the right side of your work. Even rows are on the wrong side. When you're working a bobble or a popcorn, they are all worked on the wrong side and they'll pop through to the right side. Turning chains at the end of each row don't count as a stitch. Also, when you're reading the pattern, it will tell you, uh, for example, if you see TR times two, that means that you treble crochet into each of the next two stitches. So it's like two trebles. If the pattern tells you two TR, this means that you place two trebles into the next stitch. Now, these, this first, uh, this is part one of Christmas um, curl and it's important to get the stitch counts correct for rows one to eight. Make sure that you count, you take it slow. Um, keep track of your stitches throughout the blanket. We would just advise you to count um, any plain double crochets or half trebles or treble rows as you go along because it'll just make it easier for you. So there are, um, th so it's called the Christmas curl. Uh, this one is Christmas morning and we also have Christmas Eve which is it's it's absolutely beautiful, very blues and creams. But again, have a look at the introduction uh, part of the pattern for that. Um, I'm just trying to think if there's anything else. Any questions, any queries, use the Facebook group. We're always active on there. Um, but I will literally be walking you through each row, um, each repeat of each row. So get your yarn ready, get your four millimeter hook ready or if you if you're doing Christmas Eve then the other hook um and I will see you for part one row one thank you welcome to part one row one of Christmas Cal um so we are literally going to be starting right from the beginning so you will need your yarn a for the colorway um, that you are following if you're using your own colorway then you'll need to decide which one you want um, which color you want your prominent the prominent color of your blanket to be so row one um, it says to use yarn a and it says to chain uh, 146 so I will chain 146. Um, you don't have to watch me do this whole lot, but we are literally going to chain 146 um, and then we'll move on to row two. So um, I'll go and finish this off now and I will see you at row two. Hello. So you should now have 146 chains um, using your yarn A. Um, from experience of doing these cows before, there are a lot of people that don't like a long chain to start. Um, we've often found that some people tend to do a foundationless chain of 146. Um, I don't, I can't stand it, uh, but it's each to their own. Um, 
I just need to warn you though, I'm not going to show you how to do a foundationless chain because I, I, I literally I hate them. <laughs> but if you do decide to do a foundationless chain, just bear in mind that um, when you're doing that, not only are you creating the chain, but you're also creating the first row of double crochets as well. So your rows will, you'll need to do another row to get back to the correct side for the next part of the pattern. So just bear that in mind. So, chained 146, um, so row one, the pattern reads double crochet in the third chain from the hook. These are all UK terms by the way, sorry. Um, double crochet in the third chain from the hook and double crochet in each stitch across. So, we are literally going to double crochet in the third chain from the hook. I don't, my camera doesn't seem to be focusing in very well, but there's your first chain your second chain, your third. So you're going to place a double crochet in that third chain from the hook. You'll have to bear with me because I'm trying to do this through a camera lens which isn't always easy. Okay and then you are going to place a double crochet in each stitch across. It's not going too well for me there is it? It's been a while since I've done these tutorials. Okay, so it's a double crochet in each chain across. It's not the easiest crocheting through a camera lens and you keep having to pop your head around the side. <laughs> but that is it. This is row one. So you are literally going to double crochet all the way across. And that is that. So using your main colour of your blanket, just a simple double crochet. So if you finish that, um, I'll finish mine and I'll see you um, for row two. Don't forget at the end of that pattern it actually says chain one and then turn and you should have a total of 145 double crochets. So I'll see you for row two. Okay, so now we are on to um, row two. Uh, we've completed row one, which was just a double crochet in the third chain from the hook and a double crochet in each stitch across, and then the chain one. Um, so row two um, starts off straight with straight into the repeat, which is a double crochet, a half treble, treble, three double trebles into the same stitch. When you're reading this pattern, don't make the same mistake that I did this morning because I'm now on about take four. <laughs> um, so it's three double treble into the same stitch, then a treble and then a half treble and we're going to repeat that all the way across until one stitch remains and we're going to work a double crochet in the last stitch and then we're going to switch to yarn B. So, um, I've cha have I chained one there? No, yes I have. No, I haven't. Right, so chain one, that was from the previous round. Okay, so now we're going to work a double crochet. So, one double crochet into that first stitch. And then we're going to work a half treble. So it's one half treble. So with the half treble, you just yarn over, insert your hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, and then pull that through all three stitches on the hook. Now we're going to work a treble into the next stitch. So it's a yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So you can kind of see that that double crochet is quite a short stitch and then we're going a little bit higher with a half treble and then a treble. So now we're going to work three double treble into the same stitch. So for a double treble we yarn over once, yarn over twice, insert the hook into the stitch, yarn over, pull through a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So that's the first double treble. So we're going to do that again. Yarn over twice, 
insert the hook into the stitch, pull through a loop, yarn over, pull through two, pull through two, pull through two. I'm going to do that again. So it's all, this is all three double trebles into the same stitch. So exactly as we've just done. Okay. Um, the next part of that repeat is another treble, so it's yarn over once and then work into the next available stitch, pull through a loop, yarn over, pull through two, pull through two. So you can kind of see that with those three double trebles we kind of hit a peak there. So we've gone from a double to a half to a treble to three double trebles and a half, so we're working our way back down. And then the last stitch of the repeat is a half treble where we yarn over, insert the hook into the next available stitch, yarn over, pull a loop through, yarn over, pull through all three uh, stitches on your hook. And there you go. That is your first repeat. So I'll just run through that with you again. So we're just going to repeat that. So it's a double crochet into the next available space then it's a half treble so we yarn over insert the hook into the next available space yarn over pull through a loop yarn over pull through all three loops on the stitch uh, on the hook now it's a treble so it's yarn over insert the hook into the next stitch yarn over pull through a loop yarn over pull through two loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through another two. So you can see here, we're starting to go back up again. Now we're gonna work the three double treble. So with the double treble, we yarn over twice and we work three double trebles into that next available stitch. Oops, I've slipped out. There we go. So, I'm sorry for any background noise you can hear. Um, I've it's got the. <laughs> it's Linda's here. It's Linda, say hi. Hi. <laughs> I'm surprised she's not laughing at me. Uh, oh, I've got wow. <laughs> the washing machine going. I can hear my husband messing with the dog in the living room. Not messing in a bad way. I mean, like. <laughs> Oh, this is not professional at all. Standard. <laughs> right, so uh, treble into the next. So we've done our three double treble into that one stitch. So now we're going to work another treble into the next available stitch. So we just yarn over and insert the hook, pull up a loop, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And then the next part of that repeat is a half treble again. So I'm going to show you that repeat one more time, but I'm not going to talk through it, which might please you. So, it's a double crochet into the next available stitch. Then a half treble. Then a treble. Then... It's three double trebles. So there's your first one. And then we're going to do it again. There's your second one. And again, there's your last of your three double treble into that same stitch. Um, and we'll just finish off that repeat. So the next one is a treble. And the last one is a half treble. So you're just going to repeat that all the way across until you've got one stitch remaining. And then you're going to work a double crochet into that last stitch. I'm just going to, uh, if you carry on, I'm just going to shoot ahead and finish this. But I will... Uh, come back when I get to the last stitch so that I can show you how we're changing colour. But you can just see that's quite pretty really, isn't it? 
Um, so I'll come back to you just as we're going to finish off that last stitch. Okay, so you should just be coming up towards your last um, double crochet of row two. Um, I just wanted to show you how we're going to change colour. So we've not quite finished that double crochet. So we're just going to bring in the new colour, which for me is cream. And I'm just going to pull that through. There you go. So that just finishes that off nicely. Um, and then I'm just going to chain one. It's entirely up to you what you do with those ends. Personally, um, I like to, I'll be snipping my yarn A and um, I'm probably going to put a little knot in. Linda does this differently to me. She doesn't knot hers, do you? No, no, I didn't not. think you did. But uh, me, I uh, get a little bit paranoid that it might come um, unstuck in the wash. So um, I always pop a little knot in. And sometimes I crow, well, pretty much all the time I crochet over my ends. So there you go. So um, I've chained one, but just before I turn over, if you have a look at that, just get that in focus. It looks nice, doesn't it? So I've uh, chained one and I'm gonna turn and uh, I shall see you for row three. Right, okay, so we're now on to row three um, of part one of Christmas, the Christmas cowl. Um, I've done my chain one, I have joined my new yarn. So row three um, starts off with a double crochet two together, and then two double crochet, and then the repeat kicks in. The repeat kicks in with three double crochet in the same stitch, then two double crochets, um, one in each of the next two stitches, and then a double crochet three together. And then uh, finishes off that repeat with a double crochet, uh, two double crochets, one double crochet in each of the next two stitches. But we'll go through that now. So I'm going to do a double crochet two together. So I'm just trying to get that in focus. Uh, so I've chained one, and what I'm going to do is insert my hook into the first stitch and pull up a loop. And then, sorry if you can't see that very well. Uh, and then going to insert my hook into the next stitch. So I then have three loops on the hook. I'm then going to yarn over and pull that yarn through all three loops on the hook. And that gives you two double crochet together. So it's classed as one stitch. I'm then going to work um, a double crochet in each of the next two stitches. So you might kind of feel that this looks a little bit messy to start with, but once it all comes together, it'll look fab. So there is your two double crochet. So now we're going to start the repeat. And the repeat starts with three double crochets in that one stitch at the top. So that's one, two, and three. There's a bit of a gap there, but it does all come together quite nicely. Then it says DC times two, which is one double crochet in each of the next two stitches. Not focusing very well. We're now going to work a double crochet three together. So we're going to insert the hook into the next available stitch, yarn over, pull through a loop, then not finish it, then insert the hook into the next available stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, so we've got three loops on the hook, don't finish it, and then into the next available stitch, we're going to insert the hook again, yarn over, pull through, so we've got four loops on the hook, Yarn over and pull through all four loops on the hook. So the reason we're doing that is that we've, we've kind of increased by three in that stitch and then we're decreasing by three, by two really in that stitch. So we've increased by two in that one, 
decreased by two in that one. So um, then the next part of the repeat is to work uh, a DC times two again. So that's one double crochet in each of the next two stitches. So I'm just going to try and focus my camera a little bit better. Probably not a very good idea to do this while I'm filming. <laughs> do you think I could edit it out, Linda? No. Nope. No. <laughs> it's just Keep the way it is, in. guys. It's just the way it is. <laughs> okay. So now we're going to start that repeat again. I think that is actually a little bit better. So the repeat again starts with three double crochet into the top of that stitch. So it's one and two and three and then it's one double crochet in each of the next two stitches. If you're anything like me you're looking at that thinking it's not very tidy but it will be trust me. Um, so that was one then we're going to work a double crochet three together again so into the next available stitch pull up a loop then again into the next available stitch pull up a loop and then into the next available stitch, where is it? There you go, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through all four loops on the stitch, on the hook. Keep saying that. Then it's one double crochet in each of the next two stitches. And then it's three double crochet because we've started the next repeat again that's how short the repeat is it's good though so um three double crochet in that top stitch so we'll just finish this repeat um and then i'll she'll disappear and go and finish mine so it's two double crochet which is one in each of the next two stitches and then we're back to that double crochet three together again so there's one, insert into the next available stitch, is two, insert into the next available stitch, is three, yarn over, pull through all four stitches on your hook. Then it's a double crochet in each of the next two stitches. You need to make sure that you are getting your decreases in where you are increasing, otherwise you are going to end up with the wrong amount of stitches when you get to row six. Trust me, I've done it today. <laughs> um, anyway, I'm gonna go and finish this. When you get to the end of row three, we are staying with uh, yarn B. So you are literally gonna chain one and turn. Um, and actually, row four is a repeat of row three. But at the end of row four, we're going to switch to yarn A. So um, we're going to count this as row three and row four. Um, but I will see you at the beginning of row five. Just make sure you switch to yarn A at the last uh, yarn over of row four. Okay, so now we are on to row five. Um, still on part one. This is row five of the Christmas cow um so you should be here now where we've got the two um white rows of the peaks they look starting to look like little snowy mountains albeit they're red um so row five you should have added uh change at the end of row four you should have brought in your new color which is yarn a um just let me find my end I will sort my ends out eventually, or I might be extra nice to Linda and ask her to do them. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? Um, so, actually, at the end of row four, it was a chain two. I only chained one, so there you go. Right, so it was chain two at the end of row four. We're now on to row five. Uh, row five starts off with a double treble two together, and then we start the repeat, and the repeat is a treble, a half treble, a double crochet, a half treble, a treble, and then a double treble three together. So what you'll notice is, is that we start to fill in this section here and it should all be nice and straight across. So we will start off with a double treble two together. So we've chained two. 
So double treble, we yarn over twice, insert the hook into that first stitch, yarn over, pull through a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Oops, but we're not going to finish off that stitch. So then we're going to yarn over again twice, insert the hook into, I'm trying to get this focus, it's just not right. Insert the hook into the next available stitch, pull through a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Um, and then we're going to yarn over and pull through all of those loops on the hook. So that will keep your edge nice and straight, even though it doesn't actually look quite straight just at the minute. <laughs> so we're going to start the repeat. So the repeat is a treble. So we yarn, it starts off with a treble. So we yarn over, insert the hook, pull through a loop, yarn over, pull through two, pull through two. The next stitch is a half treble. So we'll yarn over, insert the hook into the next stitch, pull through a loop, yarn over, pull through all three loops on the hook. Then we are going to work a double crochet and that double crochet sits in that very top um, centre stitch from the previous round. So there is your double crochet. Now we're working back down and starting to fill in here. So we're going to yarn over, insert the hook into the next stitch, pull through a loop, yarn over and pull through all three stitches on that hook and that is your next half treble. We're then going to work a treble, so we're going to yarn over, insert the hook into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through a loop, pull through two, pull through two. So that's your treble. Now we're going to work a double treble three together. So we're going to yarn over twice, we're going to insert the hook into the next available stitch, pull through a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. We're not going to finish that because it's a double treble three together. We yarn over again, and we're going to go into the next available stitch. We're going to pull through a loop, uh, a loop, yarn over, pull through two, pull through two. And we're not going to finish it. We get some more yarn. So we're doing a treble, a double treble three together. So yarn over twice again into the next available stitch, pull through a loop, yarn over. Pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Now we're going to yarn over and we're going to pull through all of those loops on your hook. And that's your double treble three together. So you can see we're starting to fill in this gap. So now we're going to start the repeat again. So the next stitch is a treble. So it's a yarn over, insert your hook into the next available stitch, pull through a loop, yarn over, pull through two yarn over, pull through two. The next stitch is a half treble, so it's yarn over, insert your hook into the stitch, pull through a loop, yarn over, pull through two. And then the next stitch is a treble, so we're going straight into that centre top stitch on that peak and complete that double. So you can see that's really looking nice. My colours are a little bit more, the lighting on this, I need, I'm not very good with this camera, I need to figure it out. <laughs> uh, but you can kind of see what I'm doing. Um, so we'll carry on with that. So we've just completed um, your double. Um, so we'll finish off this repeat. So the next one is a half treble. So just as we did before. Then the next stitch is a treble. And then the next one is a double treble three together. So we yarn over twice, insert the hook into the next available space. Pull through two, pull through two, don't finish it. 
yarn over twice into the next available space, yarn over, pull through two, pull through two, yarn over twice into the next available stitch, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through all of those loops from your hook. So that was a double treble three together. So that kind of finishes your repeat there. Um, I'll do it one more time without talking too much. The next one's a treble. That's the start of the next repeat. Then it's a half treble. Then it's a double. Then it's another treble, a uh, half treble, sorry. Then it's a treble. And then it's a double treble, three together. Remember, when we're doing a double treble, three together, we don't finish the stitch until the last one. And there we go. So, how cute is that? So I'm gonna go and carry on and finish off row five. Um, and then I will meet you back at row six. Um, on row five, you're just going to carry on with that repeat until you've got seven stitches left. When you get to those last seven stitches, you're just going to do a treble, a half treble, a double crochet, a half treble, a treble, and a double treble, two together, just like we did at the very beginning. Chain one, turn, and I'll see you at row six. Hello, um, we're now on to row six. So you should have just finished um, row five and row five is where we filled in um, just above those two white rows, or cream rows, sorry, um, depending on which colour pack you're doing. Um, anyway, I think they look super cute like little snowy mountains. Um, at the end of row five, we had to chain one and turn, so I'm just doing mine now. Um, so for row six, it seems a little bit pointless in doing a video because row six is literally, we are working one double crochet in each stitch across. So I've done my chain one, and I'm just gonna work a double crochet in each stitch all the way across. Now, I like to call these uh, a bit of a reset row, um, me and Linda were just talking about them, because if, um, I'll just take that one out because it's not quite right, um, this is a really good opportunity for you now, um, as you're crocheting your double crochets all the way across, just to give them a count and make sure that you've got 145 stitches. Um, if you'd read the, the if you read the pattern properly, there are some rows before there where we are increasing and some where we are decreasing. Um, but on this row, you should be back to your 145. Um, if you haven't, if you're a stitch out um, or you've got a stitch too many, I really wouldn't worry too much. Um, some people might want to frog it back and see if they've made, where they've made a mistake. Um, I'm all for just slot, yeah, Linda's waving because she's one of them. <laughs> uh, I'm a little bit of a fudger. If I'm one short, I'll just slot one in. <laughs> but you shouldn't be sure. If you have followed the pattern 100%, you should have 145 stitches. If you haven't and it looks nice and you just want a two out um, and you, you're happy to fudge it, then um, yeah, give it a fudge. Um, but yeah, it's just literally a double crochet all the way across That's the, on the wrong side, but you can just see how that looks there. Um, row seven is exactly the same. Um, you chain one at the end of row six and double crochet in each stitch across on row seven. Um, 
I'm not actually going to do a video now until we get to row 13 because row 7, like I say, is a double crochet all the way across. 8, 9, 10, 11 and 12 are a repeat of, of what we've been doing here. So it's exactly the same. So I'm not going to repeat myself. Uh, the only difference being is, is that when you get to uh, the end of row 12, um, you are going to change over to yarn C, and which is quite exciting for me because I get to use my Lincoln, which I've been looking forward to using. Um, so, um, yeah, so once you get to row 12, just make sure you change over to yarn C and um, we will start working on row 13. Um, which is another double crochet row actually, but it will be in a different colour. I'll still, we'll do that. And then um, row 14 uh, is where we start to do the uh, popcorn stitches. So um, carry on working up until uh, row 13 or 14 and I will see you back then. Thank you. Hello. Um, right, we are um, just... Well, you should have just finished row 12 and changed over to yarn C. So if you're following Christmas morning, then that will be Lincoln. Um, so I have finished uh, up to row 12. I'm just going to give you a quick um, tutorial for row 13. I don't think you really need it, but um, it's just because we've changed colour. Um, so if you've finished up to row 12, you should have these two sets. Um of well I've been calling them snowy mountains haven't I um, and you should have changed to yarn C so uh, row 13 is literally at the end of row 12 you should have chained one so row 13 is where we're just going to work a double crochet in each stitch across um, and that's literally it it's a double crochet in each stitch across and again this is a really good opportunity for you just to double check that you have done everything correctly um, and that you've got 145 stitches um, at the end of this row so and if you haven't if you're one out or you've got one too many you know if you're not too fussed which I'm not Linda is she's not with me today it's a different day um but if you're not too fussed if you've got one extra pop a decrease in um if you have um you know if you if you want short just pop one in somewhere in the middle um it really will not make that much of a difference uh but if if it does bother you then you will need to find out where that mistake is um but yeah you're just literally going to work one double crochet in each stitch all the way across so um, if you carry on with that I'll finish this and I'll see you at row 14 okay so we are now on to um, row 14 so row 14 uh, reads DC times 4 so we're going to do four double crochets then we're going to do a four double crochet popcorn and then three double crochets um, so that's the start of the repeat, which is the 4 DC pop and DC times 3. Um, until 5 stitches remain, um, and then we're going to do another popcorn and 4 double crochet. So we will get started. And I'll just work my way through a couple of repeats. So I've done my chain 1, which was at the end of row 13. So row 14, we're going to do 4 double crochets into each... So 1 double crochet in each of the next 4 stitches. That's two and three and four. So that was my four double crochet. Then we're going to do a four double crochet popcorn. So we're going to work, basically, we're just going to work four double crochet into this what into this one stitch. So this is number three. And four and you'll notice that we're on the wrong side of our work but if you read through the hints and tips on the pattern popcorns are done on the wrong side because you're going to take your hook out you're going to pull up a loop take your hook out and you're going to place your hook back into the first second third into the 
first double crochet that you did in that stitch, you pop your hook in, pop the loop back on the hook and pull it. Actually, I'm doing it from the wrong side here. You're going to pop your hook through the back of your work and then you're going to pop the loop back on your hook, pull and pull it through so that the popcorn sits on the right side of the work. So that was your 4DC pop and now we're going to do three double crochet. So that's one double crochet in each of the next three stitches. So that's one and two. I'm just getting some more yarn. And three. And then we're going to do another uh, four double crochet popcorn. So that's one and two and three and four all in the same stitch pull that up take your hook out pop your hook into one two three into the first double crochet of that set of four pop it through the front into the back put your loop over the hook pull back through and you'll see that that popcorn sits on the front of your work. So then we're going to do another three double crochet in each, one double crochet in each of the next three stitches. And then we're going to do another one. So you're just literally doing for the popcorn four double crochet into that one stitch. Have I done four there? Let me count and gone. No, I've only done three. So four double crochet into that one stitch. Pop your hook into the first one. It's not focusing, is it? Sorry. One, two, three, four. So pop your hook into that fourth one. And then pull your hook through. So again, it sits on the front of your work. And then three double crochet again. So I'm just going to do that popcorn for you one more time. So that's four double crochets into the same stitch. Pull the loop, take your hook out, one, two, three, fourth, so which is the first double crochet that you made, so you pop it in through there, and then do your three double crochet, which is one double crochet in each of the next three stitches. So I'm sure you've got the hang of that by now. So I'm just going to flip that over so that you can see how pretty are those. <laughs> Way too cute. Um, so I'm going to carry on with that. Um, once you've got to the last five stitches, you're going to do another popcorn and then for one double crochet in each of the next four stitches. Chain one, turn, and I will see you at row 15. Okay, so um, you've just finished row 14, so we are just about to start row 15, but just take a minute to just look at how cute those little bubbles are. They are so cute. Um, right, so anyway, yes, row 15 is literally a double crochet all the way across. I wouldn't normally show you a video for a double crochet, but um, if you're a beginner, Sorry, I'm just getting that to focus. If you're a beginner, um, you might wonder where you're supposed to put your stitch um, when there's a popcorn. The easiest way to to do this is to look at the top. So if you if you get your your work 
and you just flip it forward, look at the tops, you'll be able to see where you need to place that double crochet on top of your popcorn. So if you just flip it and look at the tops, you can literally see where you need to work them. Anyway, so at the end of row um, 14, you were to chain one, and now you're just going to work a double crochet in each stitch across. So there's my first, my second, my third, my fourth, and then my fifth is, let me just find it again, sorry. So if you just tip that foot, this camera's just not focusing at all. So you've got your first, your second, your third, your fourth. The fifth one, you just need to pop it just there behind that pop that popcorn. As long as there's a stitch where there's a popcorn. So I'll just work this three before we get to the next popcorn. So if you just tip it forward and it's just that space just behind the popcorn. There you go. And then one, two, and three. And then again, new popcorn. Okay. So if you just carry on with that all the way across, um, I will see you when we get to row 16. Okay, so um, we've just finished row 15, which was working the double crochets in the top um, of those bobble, uh, popcorns, sorry. Um, so you should now be back onto the wrong side of your work. Um, to be honest with you, um, row 16 is pretty much the same as row 14 the only difference being is that um make sure you've done your chain one after row 15 um with row 16 we're going to work six double crochets so that's two three four five and six and the reason we're working six is so that we are we've got the two bubbles there that we create our next uh, popcorn sorry we've got the two popcorns there and we want to create our next popcorn in the middle so let's just do our next popcorn so it's again it's the four double crochet into the same stitch And four, pull your hook out a little bit and place your hook back into the first, fourth, which that the first double crochet that we did of that set of four. And then again, we're working three double crochet. So that's one double crochet in each of the next three stitches before we do our next popcorn. So I'll just do this next popcorn and then we'll flip the work over to show you what it looks like. Okay, so that was the first one. Pop your hook back through the loop, give the yarn a tug, pull it through, and then work that one, two, and three. So if I just flip the work over, what you'll see there is that your popcorns are staggered. So you're just going to continue with that all the way across. Um, then row 17 is also a double crochet row, just like we did with row 15. 
and then row 18 is a popcorn row then row 19 is a double crochet row again uh, but on the last yarn over you're going to switch over to yarn B um, so for me that's my cream um, so yeah I am not going to do a video a tutorial for 17, 18 or 19 but what I will do is see you back at row 20 uh, row 20 but make sure you've changed over to yarn your yarn B so I'll see you at row 20 Good morning, um, it's another day, another row. Um, so you should have completed row 20, which was your half trebles, and uh, row 21, which was your double crochet, in yarn B. So it should be looking like that from the front. So we're back onto the wrong side of your work and we're going to work row 22. I do think in my previous video, I may have said that row 22 is just a treble. Um, it's not just a treble. Um, so um, I've no idea how I'm gonna edit that in mid sentence. I just thought I'd tell you I made a, a mess up. <laughs> um, so the last uh, part of row 21 was to chain one. And now we're on to row 22, which is a treble and chain one, skip a stitch. Very simple. So for a treble, we're going to yarn over. We're going to insert the hook into the stitch. We're going to pull through a loop. We're going to yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Then we're going to chain one. <laughs> And then we're going to skip the next stitch. Let me just wait for that to focus. We're going to skip that next stitch and we're going to work a treble into the next one. So yarn over, pull through a loop, pull through two, pull through two, chain one. And skip the next stitch, work into the next one we're just working a treble so all this is all the way across is a chain one skip a stitch work a treble into the next chain one skip a stitch work a treble into the next that's it chain one skip a stitch work a treble into the next and that is row that looks quite pretty doesn't it and um, so that is row 22 all the way across work a treble skip a stitch um, and row 23 we're actually going to be working into these skip stitches so I'll finish this you finish yours and I'll come back to you for row 23 hi so row um, 20 23. <laughs> um, so at the end of row 22 um, you should have changed over your yarn to yarn A. So my yarn A is my red um, and you should have done a chain one. Um, I don't know about you but this is really really starting to look really festive now and I just wish you could see the Aran white one but I haven't got that with me because Linda's working on that one. Uh, but they're both look, starting to look really festive and lovely. Um, so row 23, the pattern starts off with the repeat which is a double crochet in the treble, sorry double crochet and then treble in the skipped stitch of row 22, that's it. So. Um, I just wanted to show you, so I've done my chain one and we are then going to work a double crochet. So we're literally working a double crochet into the treble of the previous um, row and then we're going to work a treble in the skipped stitch. Just one second, I've got a dog trying to appear on the camera as well. So we're going to work a treble into the skipped stitch so I, it's up to you if you want to work over the stitch I'm probably not I'm probably just going to work in front of it 
So if you were going to work over it, you would probably just put your hook all the way through it and go all the way over. I'm, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to work in front. So I'm just going to pop my hook so that it comes through the front and that chain space sits at the back. So I'm just going to work a treble into that skipped stitch from row two. So the next one is, I'm trying to get this to focus, I'm ever so sorry, a double crochet into the treble from the previous row and then a treble into the skipped stitch from the previous row and I'm working in front of the chain space. So then it's a double crochet in the treble from the previous row and then again it's a, tr a, a treble in the stitch that we missed on the previous row. So a double crochet in the treble and then it's a treble in the skipped stitch. I really like it. Um, a double and then a treble. That's a double and then a treble. So like like I say, it's entirely up to you if you want to See how nice that looks? It's entirely up to you if you want to work over the chain space from the previous row or if you just want to leave mine. I've got mine sitting at the back there. I think if you work over it, it'll kind of pull it down a little bit. Whereas if you work it in front, it also, to me, it just gives it a little bit of texture as well. So I'll just do that one more time before Pip jumps onto the camera. Um, so it's a double crochet, give me some more yarn, and then it is a treble in that skipped stitch. So I'm going to carry on working with that. Uh, row 24, um, so at the end of this, um, you're going to change over to yarn C. So my yarn C is my... Lincoln again. So um, yeah, I'm going to change over to Lincoln at the end of this on the last yarn over and I'll come back to you on row 24 just so that you can see how it's looking. Um, but I'll come back to you on row 24. Hello and welcome to row 24. Uh, I don't know about you but I just think this is growing so nicely. Um, Right, so your work should kind of look like this now, not kind of, it should do, it should look like this. Um, so that was, um, these parts here were row 23. Um, row 24, um, we should have, well, at the end of row 23, we should have changed over to our yarn C um, in the last yarn over and chained one. And uh, row 24 is literally another half uh, treble across. So you are just literally going to yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, pull through a loop, yarn over, pull through two. And that's all you're going to do all the way across. Um, again, I know I've mentioned this before, but when you get plain half you know double crochet rows or plain half treble rows or plain um trebles it's always a good um opportunity just to check that you've got 145 stitches at the end um and if you haven't um then it should be pretty easy to work out where you've made an error um or if you're happy to pop one in or decrease by one, then that's fine too. Um, so yeah, it's just literally a half treble crochet all the way across, which looks super cute. Um, row 25 is just a double, is a chain one, sorry, tw row 24, at the end of this row, you chain one, turn. 
Row 25 is just a double crochet all the way across. Um, and then we'll I'll come back to you on row 26. Um, but yeah, carry on with row 24, complete row 25, and I'll see you at row 26. Okay, so um, we are now on to row 26. So row 24 was your half treble in each stitch across, and row 25 was your... Uh, double crochet in each stitch across. At the end of row 25 you should have done a chain one and turned. Um, I've done my chain one so we're now back onto the wrong side. Even that looks a little bit pretty. Um, so row 26 is uh, pretty much the same as one of our previous rows uh, where we've chained one and then we're going to work a treble in the first chain. So that's where we yarn over, insert the hook, pull through a loop, pull through two, pull through two. Then we're going to work a chain one and then we're going to skip the next stitch which is that one and work a treble into that one. Chain one, skip a stitch, work a treble into the next chain one, skip a stitch, work a treble into the next and we are literally going to do that all the way across. Nice and simple. Nothing too complicated. Um, yes, so just a simple treble, chain one, skip a stitch, and then treble, chain one. And it's just that all the way across. Um, when we get to the end of row 26, we're gonna yarn over and we're gonna change back to A again, which is, for me is the red. Um, and um, yeah, I'll pop back at row 27. Right, okay, so uh, we've just completed row, um, 24, 25 and 26, so 26 um, was your chain one, it was your treble chain one, um, I love mine, I think it's so nice, um, anyway row 27, sorry at the end of row 26 you should have changed over to your yarn A on the last yarn over, done a chain one and then turned, so we're working on the right side of our work and um, for row 27, we are, so let me find, oh, I'm only getting into a right tangle. Uh, row 27 is very similar to the previous row that we did, where we are literally doing, we've done our chain one, and we're working a double crochet into that first treble, and then we're going to work a treble in the skipped stitch from the row below. So we are going to end up with the same effect as down here. So it's a double crochet in the treble, then it's a treble in the skipped stitch from the row below. It's a double crochet and a treble. Double crochet and a treble and that's it all the way across um, so that's row 27 row 28 is a half treble row row 29 oh sorry at the end of row 27 we're going to change over to our B uh, yarn B so um, change over to your yarn B then row 28 is a half treble row Row 29 is a treble row. I will come back to you um, on row 30. So at the end of this row here, change over to yarn B, which for me is cream, then work a half treble row, and then work a treble row, just like we've done before. Um, and then I'll come back at row 30. Okay, so we're now on to row 30. Um, 
your work should look something like this where you've just completed uh, row 29 and 28. Uh, so we're now to row 30. We're still using the same coloured yarn um, but we should be working on the wrong side of the work so I'm just turning mine over. Um, okay so row 30 we're going to work 25 double crochets that's one double crochet in each of the next 25 stitches. Um, we are then going to work a bobble, not a popcorn, it's a bobble. And they are done on the wrong side. Uh, and then it's a double crochet, 46. Um, so the repeat is a bobble and then 46 double crochets um, until 26 stitches remain. And then it's a bobble and 25 double crochets, chain one. So... Um, just trying to get that to focus. I've done my chain one. Um, so I'm just going to work 25 double crochets. So that's one and two and three and four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine. <clears throat> Sorry, that's not focusing very well. Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Get me some more yarn. Seventeen. That's eighteen, nineteen. 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, and 25. Okay, so um, the bubbles, the way that the bubbles are worked is that they are literally five unfinished trebles, if you like. So it's like five, so I'll just start them. <laughs> so it's yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, pull through a loop, yarn over, pull through two. We're not going to finish it, but we're going to do that five times. So it's yarn over, insert the hook, pull through a loop, yarn over, pull through two. So that's two. We'll do that again. That's three. And again, that's four. And the last one is five. So pull through that last two. So you should have trying to get this to focus. Six loops on the hook. So we yarn over and pull through all six loops on the hook. Then we're gonna put a double crochet in the next stitch. And what you find is that when you put that double crochet in, the bubble pops at the, yes, the bubble pops at the front. Okay. So we've just done one, uh, we're now going to work 46 double crochet. So when I edit this, because I can edit now, this is three, um, what I will try and do is speed up me working my 46 uh, double crochet, but we shall see. So that's three and four and five, six. Seven, eight, nine, 
and 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Hopefully I can figure out how to speed it up so you don't have to listen to me counting. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, oops, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 10 more to go, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, oops, 44, 45, 46. So I'm just going to work another bubble for you into this next stitch. So we yarn over, we insert the hook, pull through a loop, yarn over, pull through two, don't finish it, yarn over, Insert the hook, pull through a loop, yarn over, pull through two, don't finish it. Yarn over, pull through a loop, pull through two, don't finish it. Yarn over, pull through two, don't finish it. Yarn over, pull through two. You have six loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through all six loops on the hook and when we work that double crochet into the next stitch it will make that bubble pop at the front and it is a beautiful bubble. Um, so yeah, um, you're just going to repeat that all the way across. Um, until um, you've got 26 stitches remaining, you work a bubble then 25 double crochets. Chain one, turn. I'll see you at row 32. Okay, so we're now gonna start working on row 31, although I've actually already started, purely because they're just trebles. But I just wanted to show you where to work your treble into your uh, bubble stitch. Um, so you should now have these cute um, bubbles, 46 stitches apart. Um, so we're working on the front, on the right side of our, of our work and like I say row 31 is just pure treble stitches all the way across and um, I didn't think you wanted to see me work all those trebles up until that bubble so I've just left a few. Um, so um, I wouldn't, no obviously I wouldn't normally just do a plain treble row uh, for a tutorial but it is just to show you where you need to work. Um, your treble and um, so just before that bubble you've got a double crochet that you need to work a treble into and then at the back of your bubble just let me try and get that to focus in at the back of your bubble just there you've got that stitch and that is just where you're going to work your treble into that bubble and then at the side of that bubble, you've got another double crochet that you work into. So if you just repeat that all the way across, and then I will see you back at row 32. Okay, so we're now on to row 32. Um, so your work should look like this, 
we work that treble um, row on row 38. So this is the right side. So we are now going to be working on the wrong side again. And I've got to admit, row 32 is pretty similar to row 25. Um, but we're going to be starting with um, our chain one. And then, have I chained one? Yeah, don't think I have chain one. And then we're going to be working 16 double crochets. So that's one, two, three, That's our 16 double crochet. We're then going to work a bobble. So remember the bobble is a yarn over, insert the hook into the next available stitch, yarn over, pull through a loop, yarn over, pull through two, two loops on the hook. Yarn over, insert the hook into the stitch, pull through a loop, yarn over, pull through two, three loops on the hook. Yarn over, insert the hook into stitch, pull through a loop, yarn over, pull through two, it's four on the hook, and again, so we've now got five on the hook, yarn over, insert the hook into the next stitch, pull through two loops. So you've got six loops on the hook, we're now going to yarn over and pull through all six loops on the hook and work five double crochets so that's one two three four and five then we're going to work another bubble so remember, we're doing double crochets, but not finishing them off. Works out about five of them until you've got six loops on the hook. Oops. Sorry, I'm just getting some more yarn. Um. I don't think I finished that last one off properly, never mind. And then pull through all those loops on the hook. And then we're going to work two double crochets. And two. And then another bubble. I'll not talk through this one. and five which pull through all those loops on the hook and then we're going to work another two double crochets then another bubble loops off the hook and then we're going to work five double crochet so that's one and two and three and four and five then it's another bubble 
quite a detailed row this one and I bet you're wondering what all these bubbles are going to create. Now after this, it, after this, this last part of the repeat, it's actually 28 double crochets. So I've done three, I'm not going to do the whole 28. It's actually, if I just turn it over, you will see that these bubbles are starting to create something pretty nice. Um, I'll tell you what it's creating, it's actually creating a snowflake, a marvellous, lovely snowflake. Um, so yes, after that one, you are literally going to do 28 double crochet and then you will be repeating that. So, um, we're starting off row 32, we're starting off with 16 double crochet, then it's the start of the repeat. And that repeat is a bubble, then it's 5 double crochets, a bubble, two double crochets, a bubble, two double crochets, another bubble, five double crochets, then another bubble, and then it's 28 double crochets. And we start that repeat again until there's 35 stitches remaining. And um, yes, just carry on with the pattern from there and you will start to see a snowflake return, uh, appearing. Row 33, where did my pattern just go? Row 33 is a treble all the way across, just like I showed you on row 31. Row 34, you will do another bubble row. Row 35 is um, another treble row. Row 36 is more bubbles, but it's just exactly what I showed you with just a different amount of double crochets in between each bubble. Um, 37 trebles. 38 double crochets, um, yes, and then it's a treble, and this goes on all the way until um, you get to row 50, so row 50, um, and then row 51 is a treble row and then row 52 is a half treble row finishing off on yarn A. I don't think I need to show you any more of this. So once you've completed row 52, sorry, row 52, that is the end of part one. Um, I think these tutorials have covered off everything to get you to the point where you can finish part one. Um, so I am going to finish this. And uh, we'll see you again when we get to part two. I hope these have been helpful. And if you get stuck, please ask on the crochet group page that we've got, which is called All Things Crochet Sanctuary. Um, please shout if you need any help. There are there's thousands of people on there that will be able to help you um, with this pattern, and us included as well. Um, so please... Um, if you need help, ask. But really, I do think these tutorials so far um, should be able to get you to the end of part one. Thanks for watching.